In drivetanks.com, we're gonna drive the British Chieftain 120, one of the greatest battle tanks of all time. Drivetanks.com is brought to you by Black Hills Ammunition. During the Cold War, one of the most dangerous threats faced by NATO forces in Europe was the large number of mass Soviet armor that lay to the east. Now, NATO had a, a number of tanks, but they couldn't match the sheer volume that the Soviets put out. So, in answer to that, the British came up with the Chieftain. The Chieftain was a very, very good tank at the time. It was actually the big dog on the block, thanks to its 120 millimeter gun, which was very hard hitting, wasn't it, Riley? Yes, yeah, so it's a British L11A5 120 millimeter main gun. It was extremely powerful, had a very wide variety of rounds. It could fire like the high explosive squash head, the uh, armor piercing, um, discarding sable rounds, and high explosive normal, things like that. Okay, so what that 120 gave this tank was the ability to penetrate Russian armor at very long ranges. The Chieftain, though, wasn't just simply a, a one-trick pony. It also had some really heavy armor, didn't it? Yeah, so the uh, front glacier display is actually 120 millimeters at a 70 degree slope, so about 4.1 inches thick, but it had a very high deflection possibility and pretty much increased the effectiveness of the armor by about almost 60%. Okay, so it was had a really thick skin, which improved the crew survivability. Now, with the heavy armor, and the big gun, it made for a really heavy tank though, didn't it? Yeah, it's an extremely slow take, only on good flat terrain, probably a good speed of about 40 miles an hour. Okay, so it had some wonderful features, it had some not so good features, uh, but during that time frame, it was a really important part of NATO. Uh, those Chieftain tanks were very highly regarded, and um, it played a key role in the defense of NATO. Now, they didn't actually see use because the Russians never came across that line, but they did see extensive use in the Iran-Iraq war where Iranian uh, chieftains went up against uh, Saddam's armor. Okay, so tell me this, Riley. What do you think about some of the not so good features about this tank, seeing as it's an older design? Well, the biggest problem this tank had was the engine. The L60 multi-fuel engine, it had about a 90% failure rate. So it, over time it got better, but just the way that really difficult engine to work on, the all the piping and things like that made it just really difficult for the engineers. It's also not a very easy to tank to drive, is no, it? No, they stuck with the um, pretty much the standard for tanks from World War II. You have your two til uh, tillers for turning left and right. It is hydraulic assisted, but still it's like trying to drive a pretty much a giant brick. If you want to have the experience of driving a 60 ton British heavy tank, crush a car, and learn from an expert on how to drive it, check out drivetanks.com.